Welcome back to Medley of Fun. With everything that is going on, I hope everyone is staying healthy and safe. Today I'm printing, or I'm 3D printing masks on my 3D printer. Um, for I'm going to donate them to medical personnel. And now I'm going to find the file. There is a tremendous need right now for proper face masks. And we saw an article online um, about these doctors that were inspired to create these 3D printed masks. They're in Montana. So the masks are named the Montana mask. Um, it's two pieces. We're gonna go ahead and print the first piece now, which is the mask. And then there's a filter um, that we'll print after this. It does take about three and a half hours on our printer to print the mask and then about a half an hour for the filter. So Siri is finding the file now. And I think I found it. <laughs> okay. Um, hold on one second before you start it though. Okay. Um, if you go to makethemasks.com, you can find the file for this. So if you have a 3D printer, you can also um, print this mask. Um, so go ahead and start it and we'll, okay. we'll show that and then periodically, uh, throughout the printing, we'll show you the progress. It's amazing what a 3D printer can actually print and it's amazing that it can print a mask for someone to wear. Yeah. There are a lot of people that are doing this now and donating them. Um, we have some family members that are in the medical field, so we're going to reach out to them and see if they would like some of these masks. <clears throat> it is a filtration mask. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so the filter frame will hold part of a surgical mask or an N95 mask. You just have to cut it into pieces and you can replace that as needed. It does need to be sanitized after um, each use, but it can be cleaned. And if you go to makethemasks.com, you can see the tests they've done on the cleaning of the mask to show that um, they can keep it sterile and it does take a minute for this to start yeah right now it's heating up right yes yeah it does have to heat up mm -hmm. okay it has heated up so it's gonna go ahead and start and this is just drawing a little line of the filament it's actually plastic that is melted. Very hot. Yeah, it's around, I think this one is 190 degrees that it's heating it up to. But you can see that it's starting um, just like the frame of it. And it does layer by layer, really tiny layers. I know it's kind of hard to see, but once it starts printing and builds the layers, it'll be easier for you to see it. And it's pink. Mm -hmm. Yes, this one's pink. Here is the roll of the filament. It's PLA, so it's safe for them to use. So we're going to go ahead and let this print and we'll show you the progress. I just want to show you the first layer. That's going to be the opening of the mask where the filter will go. But it has printed part of the first layer. It has to heat up pretty hot to melt plastic. It does. This is, uh, I think I said 190, yeah. 190 degrees yeah. for this one. Okay, so 
okay. We're going to let it do its work and then we'll show you um, the progress in just a little bit. Okay, it's been printing about 35 minutes. And you can see that's the front of the mask. I'll show you the top. Okay, we're at about the one hour mark, and so far it looks like it's doing fine. Let's look up top. So far, so good. I love the pink. It's pretty. Yeah. another hour or so. Okay, we're at the two hour mark. We've got a, at least another hour and probably 10 minutes to go. Um, and it's starting to print the, the little uh, loops for the straps. up here so you can see it a little better. See around the side it's starting to print the, the little loops that are going to hold the straps in place. Okay, still looking good. Twenty more minutes to go, so it's almost done. It's printed the little loops there. See the holes where you can put the um, the elastic or whatever you're going to use for the straps. Almost done. I'm excited to see it when it's done. I know. It looks like it's uh, fine so far. Yeah, it looks like it's like coming out really good. Okay, we'll be back in a few minutes to show you the finished product. Hopefully I can catch it when it's uh, finishing up, right at the very end. Almost done. I think we have like another minute left. Two more minutes. Two minutes? Yeah, that's what it says. Two minutes. All right, two minutes left. I know, it looks really good. So I think it's going to turn out fine. We'll find out in another two minutes.
Okay, do you want me to take it off now? Sure, go ahead. Okay. Let's see if it worked. Okay. Cool. There's a little piece of filament that you always have to pull out. Whoa. Oh, it's, it's coming right off. off. So Let's here see. it is. Take that off of it. Let's see. All this right. is really looks, cool. It looks good. Even though there's no filter right, in We yet. still have to um, cool. print the filter frame. And I love the color. It's actually, it's really pretty. It's pretty. So. Okay, well let's go ahead and... we just and, throw this away. Yeah, this is just, that's just yeah. excess. So we're going to go ahead and print the filter frame now. Yes. And then we'll show you that once it's complete. The filter frame is all done printing and I'm going to take it off the build plate and show you guys how to put it um, or like snap it in the mask with the filter in it. So I'm going to take it off. Um, and the purpose <laughs> of using the filter frame is so that they can get more uses out of a surgical mask. So you can cut the surgical mask and insert it um, into this frame. Siri's gonna show you um, with just a piece of paper towel that we cut, but they can get four to six uses out of the surgical mask or the N95 mask. Which is probably pretty helpful. Yes, so you can get they won't use have to it. use as many since they're running short. So you're just gonna put it in there and then take your um, filter frame. Mm -hmm and put it, just kind of snap it in. Okay, so there's what it looks like. All right, all done. And we're gonna go ahead and print some more and put the straps on and show you those when they're done. Here are a couple of the masks we've printed so far. Uh, we went ahead and put straps on them. We had to kind of improvise because we can't get any elastic right now. The stores are out because so many people are sewing masks and making uh, the 3D masks. So what I did was I had some of these uh, Stay Dry Ice Packs. They are actually from the hospital and they had straps on them. So we cut the straps off and made straps for the masks so they can um, tie the mask on instead of using the elastic. I know a lot of the nurses are saying that their ears are hurting um, from using the elastic. So hopefully these straps are going to be okay with them. If not, they can always change the straps out. And I only had enough for, I think, five. Um, so we went ahead and used paracord and took, we cut it and actually took the string out of the paracord so that this would be a little stretchy and easier to tie. And again, if that doesn't work for them, they can change it, but I think it should be okay. We've been printing for a few days now, and this is what we have so far. We have 10 of them. Uh, we wanna get these shipped out, so we're gonna go ahead and package these up and ship these out today. Uh, these are going to a family member. Um, she's a nurse, so we wanna get one to her, and then she can distribute the rest of them to her coworkers. Um, and then if they do want more, we're going to keep printing and uh, ship them more if they are wanting more. If not, we do have some requests here uh, for some of the masks. And as you can see, Siri wanted to print a gold one. Yeah, it is. I love the color, and I guess whoever chooses that one to wear will feel really special. <laughs> and I love the color. It's like the golden egg out of the bunch. Yes. Although... There isn't any money in it or anything like that. No, they just get to feel, I guess, extra special. <laughs> okay, we're going to get these packaged up. Siri also wrote a note to go in with each one, um, just thanking the nurses uh, or whoever 
um, takes one of the masks and wears it. I don't know if it'll be a nurse, a doctor, or it'll be some form of medical personnel. So we're going to go ahead and get these packaged up and shipped out today so they'll have them in a couple days. Okay, we just need to close the box and they will be all packaged up and then we are going to ship them to our family member that is a nurse. Um, I know I already said this, but I absolutely love the colors, especially the gold one. Um, and I just want to say the nurses are amazing and you guys are very dedicated to what you do. And I know my mom wanted to say something. I just wanted to say thank you to all the medical personnel, especially at this time. You guys are awesome. Stay safe. Stay well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And share, like. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Bye.